What's up, everybody? So, you see the banners right now, you see Robin, you see Topaz, and you think, man, I really want a cool dude to summon on. I love men, right? So you're probably thinking, you want to summon for Boohoo. Boohoo's pretty cool, right? Now, if you're like me, who, you know, I mean, maybe you didn't want Topaz, maybe you have Topaz, right? I'm having second thoughts, you know? I'm like, maybe I don't want Topaz, maybe I want Boohoo. Boohoo is pretty damn cool, right? Now you might be thinking as well, okay, well if I want Boot Hill, what should I farm for him? And here we are with this video. So I'm going to help you out and tell you everything you need to farm for Boot Hill. Now Boot Hill is a pretty damn cool character, so I'm expecting a lot of people to summon. At least I hope so, because I'm going to be honest with you, we kind of need some more cool ass dudes in Star Wars. We have a lot of super sick ass chicks. We got Jing Lu, Akron, uh, Robin's pretty cool in my opinion. And then we just got, I mean, we have Donang and Blade and stuff, but like, come on, where's like the cool, like, give me like an old man, like super cool. Maybe he like has a cane or something. Pretty much like Welp, but if he was old, you know, I think that'd be pretty cool. But regardless of that, let's jump into what you are going to need to farm for Boot Hill. So first things first, I know you're going to need 4 million credits. It's just how it is. Uh, the amount I have, nowhere close, right? Then you're going to need around... 290 of the purple books as you can see i don't have anywhere close to that right then you're going to need eight tracks of destiny booyah i got the exact amount i'm ready that's just coincidence i'm gonna be honest with you then you are going to need his trace material now i am gonna be honest with you i have not farmed a single one of it so we're gonna go to here instead to show you he's going to use the soul glass scorch sand audition venue Alex, right? You're going to need 18 of the bullets. You're going to need the 69 of the destined expiration. I double checked that. I actually said 69. I just didn't write that down to be funny. And then you need 139 of this one. Yeah, 139. Oh, we love farming traces when they only drop like two, three. Um, when I was farming for Robin, I sure didn't see a single purple drop for most of my runs. So that was pretty fun. And then you're going to need 65 of the new character ascension material, which is going to be this one right here at Clock Studios uh, theme park is the IPC work permit. Like I said, you're going to need 65 of those. Then you're going to have to fight the new boss, good old Sunday, and get 12 of the lost echoed of the shared wishes. And then you're pretty much good to go there because the only thing else you're going to need is you're going to go over here to assignments and you're going to click on these little things. So you have 2,000 of these. You're going to need 56 of the green drop, which is two star, 71 of the blue one, which is the three star, and then 73 of the purple one. And I mean, let's be honest, you could pretty much get this pretty easily. Uh, let me go over to this. Like, I just bomb, right? And then boom. All right, cool. I'm done. I, I I got everything I need just like that. And all you have to do is go into assignments and just switch them for a little bit. I've been cooking with these for a while. I should probably switch over and get more of these than I'm looking at it. I'm not going to lie. But these are all pretty much you just have like infinite amount, really, if you're just on top of switching them out for when you need more. <laughs> Unlike me, I mean, 700 is nothing to scoff at, right? Then after that, you pretty much have everything good to go. You got all his traces up. You have all of his uh, minor traces. You got the big traces and you're good to go. But you might be thinking, OK, my boot hill is maxed out. But what about his relic set now for his relic set? What I'm going to recommend for you, funny enough, is exactly what my Jue has right now, which is going to be the four piece thief set and the two piece Talia set what subsets do you need to roll for that's a good question i'm not gonna lie that's a good question i haven't used boot hill too much myself and we do not have his full official kit so i can't really tell you that but more than likely he's gonna want speed boots he's gonna want physical damage orb he's gonna want a break effect rope uh crit rate crit damage we'll have to see on that one if i say any more that's pretty much just leaks right but it should be pretty easy if you like me and has just been saving like crit crit damage ones for a while you probably have a decent amount so if he does need crit crit damage you know you just do the break full break effect and if he does want a little bit of crit crit damage like shue which i mean he probably will then you'll have those pieces good to go if you don't have this set uh you get it from fighting most of the weekly bosses so you can get it from those you can get it from the actual uh thief calyx right 
Um, and then Talia, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't really farm too much of the what the set what's the set name? The uh Vonwick set. So I pretty much just crafted these myself, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Uh so do keep that in mind. If you're not a Vonwick farmer, you probably won't have these and you're gonna have, have to dedicate a weekly or two to getting these. But I mean hey, we have like two weeks till Blue Hill comes out, so that's you know, two more refreshes that you get to do for him. And that's pretty much that, right? But however, something to keep in mind that they love to do. They've done this with Topaz. They've done this with Ratio. They've done this with Ruin May. They did this with... Um, uh, there's another character I'm thinking of that I can't remember. There will probably be a new Relic set for Boot Hill. That'll be his best in slot. Now, that doesn't mean that you don't bother farming Relics. Sometimes you get really good relics, like for example, my Kafka. All right, I've yet to get a single dot set that isn't going to completely nerf her speed into the ground, and with that, I can't run the Glamour set, so I just haven't bothered switching it. Right, and that's how it is. My Kafka still cooks, so absolutely cooks. Of course, it's going to be with a set that does slightly less damage, but I think that you can take the L for slightly less damage and rock the older set. Right, it just depends on how you rolls. Of course, you actually completely wrong, and you could just do two, three, four runs of the new set, and then boom, you have your like perfect pieces. They're so much better. But just do keep that in mind. You do not need a new set if it does drop, but more than likely they're gonna drop a break set one, or maybe they'll drop like a physical one that's better than the past one. I don't know, right? That's that's leaks, and we don't do that here because we love Hoyoverse and we totally respect them for not wanting to leak stuff, right? Um. Other than that, that's pretty much it for Boot Hill, honestly. Um, I have a lot to grind, right? If you're max level, right, and you don't have enough credits, like, here, let me go over to... We'll just, we'll just go to Arlen, right? Show the money on top, right? If you're like me, and you just don't have enough money, what I recommend is don't bother grinding credits, because I feel like by the time you grind out all of the trace materials, and then you do, like, daily quests, um, you get you know daily missions done you do other missions whatever it may be i feel like you rack up enough credits plus if there's going to be some events before boot hill comes out even when boot hill does come out and you don't completely max them out let's say you're missing some traces or maybe you need still need to grind some of the weekly bosses whatever it may be i feel like you get enough credits just from playing and doing those because you're max level now if you're not max level you're probably gonna have to put some stamina aside to get the credits because i remember when i was max level i pretty much just had to farm the credit stage a little bit not too much but enough to where i would you know not be able to farm for like a couple days from other stuff just for credits but do keep that in mind if you are max level but anyway let me know in the comments if you are summoning for boot hill if you've already started farming if you're just now farming if you're farming for some of the other characters that you just pulled you're waiting to go in on boot hill let me know in the comments and of course i'll catch y'all in the next star video thank you for watching